Hi, thanks for joining. Today we have another micro brand from Singapore. It just came in today via mail. And we're just going to do an, a quick unboxing and then we'll see my initial thoughts afterwards. So here goes. Okay, so Wilhelm is a micro brand from Singapore. They actually, it's in partner with another popular micro brand called Zelos. And this is their Talos White Skull model. Actually, I've been waiting for this for about a month now because it's been stuck in customs. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the last piece that I got from Wilhelm itself. I contacted their their, the owner, Nop, and he looked at the inventory and then, you know, out of nowhere, there's still one more piece left. And I swiped it up off him, have it shipped to my country. The only problem is the taxes here are ridiculous. So here it goes. Let's see what's inside. So we have a, a plastic hard shell, Wilhelm logo on top. It's like those aviation boxes, I guess, or a military inspired box. And we have here a blue strap, a green strap, a black and red strap. I think this one is, they're all rubber except for this. This, I believe, is Kevlar. Sign Wilhelm. And the others would all would all be rubber ready. It's very supple, very soft. We have a warranty card, and from the looks of it, wow, it looks nice. Oh, it's even a cutout, you would see there. And Talos White Skull, Feb 20, and my name. And we have here the watch. So it's a nice packaging and case is actually very nice from the outside you don't think it's very nice but at the inside it's very sturdy foam it's nice so let's clear that out and we have the watch as I said it's a what Talos white skull
And this is the time that you peel off the sticker. Now, another coincidental thing here is that if you see the case back, there's this Spartan figure, I guess, that actually coincides with one of my paperweights here. See? Same, same, but different. So it says there, Wilhelm Talos, 500 meters, bronze, CUSN8, sapphire, Swiss automatic movement, and of course, Wilhelm Talos. And a great reveal, I guess. All right. I don't know if that's picking up well. First and foremost, I would have to say the AR coating on this one is actually really, really good. I'm fairly surprised with the build quality, oh well, the AR coating of this one. Okay, now, let's try to wind it up. Screw down crown, pops, nice. There's a ghost date position, I guess. Yeah. And let's adjust the time. Let's go with the most Instagrammable time, I guess. Give it a few winds. Well, let's see if it's going to run. All right, and it's running. We'll pop it back in. Okay, so from the back, you would see it's a bronze case, but this is a carbon, forged carbon case. So it's a tri-case material. So it's stainless steel here, forged carbon, and then a bronze, and then a rubber strap. Then we'll do a wrist shot and maybe finish with a loom shot. And then we'll call it a day. So this is a 43 millimeter case, lug to lug of 50, I think. Oh. Oh, that's the only problem for me. I don't think this is meant for smaller wrists. And there you are. It's actually light. I have to weigh this, I guess. So out of the bat, I have a 6.5 inch wrist and you would see there's a lot of play. So the only problem that I see, uh, the first negative that I see here is that there needs to be more holes just to accommodate more wrist. But lug to lug, I think it's a perfect fit. It's not that bad, angle curves, downwards it looks big but I can pull it off so now we're I'm gonna try to do a loom shot and then close down the video okay so quick comparison for the loom of a Wilhelm Talos and a Gino Ocean Rover 2 I'll briefly charge it with a torch so far it looks good. Let's see how it charges down under the sun. Um, first impressions, it's nice. And I was expecting it to be brighter loom, just like the Zillow's. But who knows, maybe during the daytime it would be different. Okay, so thanks for watching. And probably in a month or so I'll do the I'll do a video of the full review. I just need more wrist time on it. Okay, thanks guys. Bye bye.